Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to get RHEL 8 at no cost, as you can see, right? Yes, RHEL is uh, enterprise software with enterprise support, but you can get it at no cost for your home use. So for this, I'm going to rely on uh, RHEL documentation. We will refer to the old article, but it's still valid. And I'll show you a simple four-step process how to get RHEL for your home uses. So the first step is join the Red Hat Developer Program. You really don't have to be a developer for this and you don't need any educational email or enterprise email. You can register it at developers.redhat.com with your regular or personal email ID. As you can see, email addresses, Gmail addresses are very much valid. All right, so go ahead, register yourself. Then what you have to do, you have to download the software. So click on the download and you can uh, go to the download software por portal. You can download based on your machine uh, characteristics like 64-bit, 32-bit, ARM, iOS and others. I will recommend DVD ISO. If you are doing a virtual machine install, DVD ISO has all the packages inbuilt. So that's the second. Third is install Red Hat. So installing Red Hat using DVD ISO or a boot ISO is no different than installing any virtual machine uh, or booting your physical machine. If you are uh, building a laptop or some physical machine using ISO, it's, it's the same process. Just bake it as a boot ISO and spin up. I will show, I'll show you that in later section. And after the installation, what do you have to do? You have to register yourself. So you have, once you have machine up and running, then to get the support, that means if you want to do any yum install or yum update, right? So to get the repo support, you have to register your system. And what do you have to do? Yeah, once you have system built, you have to use this command. Subscription manager, register, and put your, give your username. And this is the this is not your email address, mind it. This, uh, this happened to me as well. I was using my email address, but no, this is the username what you will use while you are registering to developer program. So use your username and password and, and, and password, and then you will see that you are getting this confirmation. The system has been registered registered and this is going to be your UUID and so that means RHEL know that you are registered to developer program and it is going to provide support for this virtual machine or physical machine and you can actually log into the customer portal using your username and password and manage your subscription and see how many machines you have registered what version they are running I'll give you a glimpse of my account so as you can see I am logged into my account and I have one active subscription. I have two physical virtual machines, uh, sorry, two physical machines running RHEL and one virtual machine running RHEL. The good thing is I can get all the security advisory bug fixes and other information on this dashboard and this comes all free. So I don't, I, I really don't have to worry that well, what system vulnerability I have if I am not paying for enterprise support, I can still get that level of uh, things here. And subscription watch, I can put a subscription watch when the renewal is coming and all those things. So you may think that if RHEL 8 is supported as developer version for free, then why to go enterprise or uh, what you are missing if you are a part of developer program. So the first thing is if you are part of developer program, you are only uh, you can get all uh, all the software uh, support. Only thing what you cannot get is you cannot go ahead and op open a support ticket. If something goes wrong, you cannot ask support. You need to rely on community uh, resources. And community resources are pretty good. They are responsive and most of the problem can be solved by then like that. All right. So let me just quickly show you if you have a boot ISO, what you can do. You can go to... Uh, any virtualization program like for example I have VMware Pro Workstation Pro I can come here new virtual machine say a typical install look for the ISO 
and I have this ISO uh, plugged in here. Obviously, I'm not going to spin up because I already have a Red Hat machine. I'm just going to show you the flow. Put your name, uh, something, username, and this is the username you're going to create. Password, password you have to type carefully because it has to match. You cannot randomly type. All right, choose where you want to save. I want to save it uh, on desktop, the VMDK, next. And then you allow the disk size, minimum disk size 20 GB recommended, but 20 GB a workstation cannot uh, scale. So I would highly recommend give it like 100 GB if you have space and store virtual disk in a single file or multiple file. I'll recommend virtual disk as a single file. Go ahead, uh, verify things network adapter if you want to change network adapter settings you can go ahead and change the settings and NAT mode bridge mode mostly I keep it in bridge mode because I am sharing the IP addresses with my home network um, then you can go ahead and change the memory and processor requirement just like simple virtual machine right and you can add extra network adapters as well right so I'm not going to spin up a virtual machine as I hit spin, uh, finish it is going to create the virtual machine and power it on but I'm not going to do that reason being I already have a virtual machine uh, created and uh, let me just power it on okay while you create your uh, uh, so while you create this is how it will boot so you can see it is using 8.4 Utpa. and it boot right there is nothing interesting to see here the first time when you uh, when it boot the first thing what you have to do you have to go there and say subscription manager register put your username password and register your system verify this uh, confirmation and then go to portal and see if you can see your system on the portal and if you can see your portal on system that mean you are all set you are registered with uh, RHEL support you can simply start using your uh, RHEL 8 machine uh, for uh, whatever purpose you install it so that was a quick uh, quick one if you have any questions uh, please do let me know in comment section and uh, I hope you like the video thank you very much for watching